Set boundaries. This is important as fuck. Boundaries are extremely important. If you don't set boundaries, you can be getting calls at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. You could be asleep. You could be working. You could be at your job. It's a lot, man. So if you don't set boundaries early, you gonna end up like I did. Let me tell you. <laughs> when I first started, dog, I had a certain client. Honestly, he was paying me $300 for a t-shirt design, like multiple. And he was calling me just random. Like we were just the like it was crazy. He was calling me at. 2 a.m. to have brainstorming session. I just could not understand what was happening. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening. I was like, why is this man calling me at 3 a.m.? I'm asleep, G. I'm tired. I didn't left work. <laughs> I've been asleep. I've been working on this brand all night. I'm working on his shit. I'm working on my shit. I got a full-time job. <laughs> had a wife. <laughs> Like, I was exhausted, bro. And then he'd call me, and if I picked up, he wouldn't be talking about shit. He'd just be brainstorming. He'd be talking about things that we already answered hours ago or days before. So I had to get to the point where I was like, okay, I need to ask myself a few questions. How did we get here? How do I avoid this in the future? And what do I do now? Whew. <laughs> it used to piss me off. <laughs> bro, it used to make me so bad. <laughs> But it was my fault because I didn't set boundaries. I didn't even know to set boundaries. I didn't really, you know, I didn't have a lot of clients like that. I wasn't experienced like that. I didn't really know what I was doing. So before you start making these mistakes, set boundaries. Because if you don't, here's what's going to happen to you. If you don't set boundaries, you're going to be getting them 3 a.m. calls. You're going to be getting random emails. You're going to have people making changes to designs. They're going to make a thousand revisions and then come back and go to revision number one. They just wanted to see what the other 999 look like. Fuck that shit. That used to piss me off too, I'll tell you. So what I did to combat that, I started, I said, okay. I started running myself like a business. I'm only open from nine to six, Monday through Thursday. I'm not fuck, on, fuck off on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those were my work days because I was working a full-time job. And then from nine to six, I'm only available for calls from one to two. Not only did I set up those boundaries for people to call me, but I had, I've, I said the best way to reach me is either through Asana or email. I stopped doing phone calls unless they scheduled it in advance. That way I'm prepared. I'm not just getting these random 3 a.m. calls or 2 a.m. calls. My wife think I'm got hoes. Like, <laughs> I made it to where you couldn't reach me on the same day. You had to schedule it for the next day or the day or the next week. And then I set up a contract to where if you call me consecutively, back to back to back to back, that terminates the project and I'm keeping the money. <laughs> Again, I set myself up like a business because I had to protect myself. My mental health was going through hell, dealing with all these different energies and dealing with all these diff different people who would just call you just to have conversations. Like that's one of the downfalls of being relatable and making people feel like families. They will overstep some boundaries if you don't set them. So do yourself a favor, set those boundaries. So that's the end of this video. I can do a part two if you're interested, let me know. And as always, I love you guys and y'all be cool. Peace.